What does it mean to you? How do you display unity in your everyday life? <laughs> I guess you call unity with my stepfather and my mother and my, my mother family. Okay. How? You know, when we had Thanksgiving and whatnot. So coming together with your family is kind of is kind of unity for you? Yeah. Okay. All right. When you guys get together as a whole, it makes you feel whole because you're surrounded by a group of people that love you. Purpose. Everybody has a purpose. My purpose is to make something out of myself. That okay. is very good. What is Kooji Chocolate? It can be something that you've done or something that you're determined to do. What does it mean to be self-determined? Well, I'm determined to get my black belt in martial arts. I was determined to do swimming, and I'm doing it now. Okay. And my other thing is I was determined to get a new sketchbook and work on my art techniques. And doing it now. We've been talking about um, the four historically black townships this whole month and how the principles of Kwanzaa um, are related to the stories of these townships. Glen Arden, Fairmount Heights, uh, Eagle Harbor, and North Brentwood. What do you think collective economics meant to these black communities? Think about how members of these communities utilize these African principles in creating these communities. What does that mean to you? The town of Fairmount Heights used the meaning determination to build a town with businesses, houses, and etc. to make a to make a good town to be together. The drama means teamwork. Eco Harbor used Emilia by coming together and creating a place for people to relax. The town of North Brentwood still participated in the act of Kumba creativity. They were creative in a number of things. Some of those being the various names of the town, the construction of the town, and even the various organizations they began in our and opportunities they provided. In conclusion, North Brentwood did in fact use all of the principles of Kuwanda, but the one that stood out the most and the one that I could relate to is Kuwanda.